It's not so often that I play with conductors who are younger than I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know? Well, it'll stay that way for 50 well, years. <laughs> now it, it will have yes. to happen more and more often. Yeah. But, by the way, by, about the horns. Our horns? Uh, no, no, not your horns. No, your horns were very good. So. But, <laughs> tell you a very good story. About young conductors. <laughs> No, really. In Russia, in the conservatory, when they have the exams, you know, final exams, when they graduate from the conservatory, once uh, such a thing happened that the, con the uh, very well-respected res conductor who was in the jury made an arrangement with the horn player, with the first horn player, to play a wrong note in a certain bar in a piece in a very well-known piece. So, and the conductor was supposed, obviously, to stop and say, you're not playing the right note. So the symphony went on, and the, that bar arrived, and the young conductor didn't stop the horn player, it went on. So that man in the jury stops the orchestra and says, young man, why didn't you stop the orchestra? Didn't you hear the horn play the, a wrong note in this bar? He said, no, professor, I haven't heard anything. Then the horn player stands up and said, professor, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Russia, somehow, is never far from the conversation. And his relationship with Russia is complex and paradoxical.